Taylor Swift fans know how to shake it up, literally. Throughout two of Swift's Seattle era's tour dates, fans danced and screamed all night long. In doing so, they inadvertently caused seismic activity equivalent of a 2. 3 magnitude earthquake, according to seismologist Jackie Kaplan Auerbach. The swift quake is now being compared to the 2011 beast quake, which happened when the Seattle Seahawks erupted after a perfect touchdown by running back Marshawn Beast Mode Lynch. The excited activity was detected on the same local seismometer as the swift concert, Kaplan Auerbach told CNN. Taylor Swift beats 800,000 pound lawsuit accusing her of stealing lover book from author Kaplan Auerbach works as a geology professor at Western Washington University. He saw the comparison in a Pacific Northwest earthquake group she moderates on Facebook and quickly got to work. She grabbed the data from both nights of the concert and noticed they were the same pattern of signals. Kaplan Auerbach said, if I overlay them on top of each other, they're nearly identical. The only sizable difference between the July 22nd and July 23rd shows, is their 26-minute difference. Kaplan Auerbach added, I asked around and found out the Sunday show was delayed by about half an hour, so that adds up. Despite Beast Quake and Swift Quake having a magnitude difference of only zero. 3. Kaplan Auerbach said Swift's fans have the Seahawks fans beat. She added, the shaking was twice as strong as Beast Quake. It absolutely doubled it. The difference between the quakes is the duration of shaking. The excitement after a touchdown only lasts a few seconds. The crowds at the singers' concerts went on for much longer. The geology professor said, it's much more random than a concert. For Taylor Swift, I collected about 10 hours of data where rhythm controlled the behavior. The music, the speakers, the beat. All that energy can drive into the ground and shake it. Kaplan Auerbach loves that the seismic activity from Swift's concerts happened because it gave her the chance to show people cyan. She added it doesn't have to happen in a lab with a white coat. Everyday observations and experiences are science. CNN's Chloe Mellis who attended one of Swift's Seattle concerts, said it was unlike anything Shed ever experienced, and that you could literally feel the ground shaking beneath your feet. Swift, whose tour is boosting the economy, thanked her Seattle audiences in an Instagram post on Monday for all the cheering, screaming, jumping, dancing, singing at the top of your lungs. Taylor Swift fans know how to make some noise in the presence of their idol.